Hello, and welcome back. The last episode, we got Makuhita. Now, this is effectively the uh, choice part. You know how in the Pokemon game, you know how in every Pokemon game there is um, like the grass, water, and fire one, fire choice. Um, and this is effectively it. Put all the eggs up to This is the grass guy who gives you the leaf. The water guy's down there who gives you. Crocodilian? Crocodile, sorry. And this is the fire guy that gives you uh, lava. Now, I always pick fire because I like. I, I, I always like the fire ones best. Okay. You think that I can't take you? You son of a bitch. Rosso. I'm going to show you what for. And you're going to cry about it. We love it. There he is. There's the guy. Alright, now Grimer, he's a dick. Umbreon and Bestial. Right. Now, I can't remember if... Uh... Uh, I... Uh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, Alright, let's try... Because you, you, you want to get them at as high as health as possible, because otherwise, when they're on your team, they're weak and they're ready. And that's not ideal. So you always try one. So you, that's why you need a massive stat for them. See, I don't think there's one yet. Um, although I'm pretty sure there's actually a math calculation to try to solve that one. Um, although the chances were. But, regardless. Uh, Umbreon has a move called Secret Power, and it, if you play this game, you don't want to lose that move because it causes them a tiny little fraction of damage, and it has a chance to paralyze them. So, it is an ideal move for catching the Shadow Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to blast you with that, and I'm going to choose Spawn. Spawn. Why couldn't he have been on Shadow Pokemon? Not very effective, so it does be like more than half your health though. Don't kill Espeon. You're dead. You're an absolute false. I hate you and everything you stand for. Except I, I do, I do. I'm after you. Your time to shine. Right now, let me explain those bars. I'll do it on the next go. I'll do it when I can actually show you up. Alright, now. Uh, okay, now the bars. Uh, as you will see, uh, what's happened? let's try this. As you will see here, you only have one move, another three are blocked, and now you unlock each move by clearing the bars. You get the first move unlocked when you clear the first bar, the second move unlocked when you clear the third bar. And the last move unlocked when you clear it is the fourth part. Um, and it's basically it's opening up the doors to his heart, I think, is the uh, idea. Uh, because obviously the shadow Pokemon are heartless and like the people closed off, they're not really animals anymore, they attack everything, they hate people. Uh, you get the drift. Alright, we love it. Shadow Rush. How dare you. I was very ready. Now Shadow Rush also causes a uh, recoil. So that's good, because he's been damaged again. But it's also very dangerous because that's why you don't want to get Shadow Pokemon too low, because then if they do that, they can kill themselves and you can get. Because it's not something you want ever. Ever, ever, ever. That's fun. No one likes it. Now Shadow Pokemon have a chance to go into hyper mode. Um which I will talk about more when it happens, because it will happen. And I will be very, very excited. Uh, Alright, okay, here's the plan. I'm just going to use Secret Power on him because it causes the most damage, and when Makuhita shots, I'm going to attack him. Because I will catch this, I will. Unless he feels like it, but I can't see it happening. Zing! Told you it was. And now I've got good level. Uh, but unfortunately, the grass and the water guy do run off. Um, 
which is quite sad, really, because it's it's two Pokemon that you just don't, don't get. And I'm not sure if you unlock them later. Wow. What was that? What was that strange Pokemon? What do people do there? That Pokemon. It's a Pokemon that we turned into a fighting machine by artificially closing the door to its park. No, you did. You artificially closed the door to a Pokemon's heart? <laughs> no, that's not going to help you do any. That is true. No, that does nothing for it. I know. When I was little, I heard about that. They say that if any Pokemon closes the door to its heart, they gradually even open it by battling together with that. Damn it. Let's go. Those guys are probably uh, head heading to Pyrite Town. After all, it was in Pyrite Town that they captured me. You mentioning this no? That's not Pyrite Town. I know Pyrite Town. You took up your next field seat! This one's dead. Ooh. Can I help you? Well, hold right there. This is a construction site. It's not a safe place to be. There's no place for tourists to visit. Go on, Spam. Thanks, Robert. Thanks. That was a waste of time. Uh, right, pirate time. Okay. Now this has the best theme tune ever. Oh. Oh, Mr. Johnson, give him a minute break here. I keep telling you I don't know anything. Maybe true, Kyle. If you're trying to con me, I'll know about it. Mr. Johnson said. I wouldn't think about lying to you. You've got to believe me, right? Alright, alright. I'll let you off easy today. See ya. <laughs> what a nitwit. Of course I haven't got a thing to tell you. You're a douche. It's true, he's a douche. Hello! Oh, well, look what we have here. Quite the hobby crowd well, stuff. Why don't you lose that wall for you? You must be. Wait a second. You need to call me a wall follower? What about me as a wall follower? <laughs> look, she's all serious, I'm cool. I'm only teasing on the board, I like him. He's not to my taste. What, you don't like awesome people? Ugh, that's it. I'm furious now. Go over, get him. Get him, get him. Sorry, I said my own name. Stop it down. Stop. Who? Me? Ha! <laughs> that's a lot. Come on, man. I'll go easy on you. I hate you. Evil. Get it, because she mocked us. Okay. Jolting and Zuda. Oh yeah, I forgot I feel almost dead. Don't worry, I'm happy here. We still got it. We're not even worried, are we happy here? Yeah, we're not even worried. Because we're the best. Uh oh! You gonna steal my stuff? What do you steal? What do you steal? Oh! Good job, Matthew. Are oh, you almost gone? Freddy. All right now, uh, and the light switch. Okay, there we go. Bye, Zuda. No one likes you. <coughs> oh, see, here's Hyper Mode. Alright, now, Hyper Mode is Chain Mode, uh, Double Edge Billy, I 
think I used that right there. Um, it makes Shadow Rush more effective, however, um, it, it damages them more and it's not good. Um, and, and to get them out of it, you do pop. And that also opens part of the door to the heart. So, Hyper Mode is actually a good thing. But it's annoying because it obviously stops the move and then the next go, you kind of have to get them out of it. Unless you're kind of like screwed. You know what I mean? And it also doesn't just stick to this bat that carries on the same way, like poison and burn and all that shit. So, it's not great. Yeah, we did. Alright, uh, now this whole little bullseye here, that shot, is, oh, David, I was here in this square that I saw that straight Pokemon. I tried to leave town a little afterwards and that's when I was pretty crappy. You should be careful, we didn't the best of times, there was nothing normal about this time. I was actually trying to say, a uh, talk about this thing that you got in the way. Um, let me just clear this up before I pause. All of these people, including that rollerblade man over there, have a shadow Pokemon. All of them. This town is like Shadow Pokemon Central. Um, so I'm gonna go do all that next episode, hopefully. Um, so thanks for watching, I'll see you next episode. Goodbye.